All right, welcome back. This will be a faceless video, I suppose. At old Berg, it's already late, but we're gonna go jump on the Bream spot, I think. The only thing I did uh, before traveling here was pick up some ground bait for us to make. Uh, yeah, let's go that way. So we'll get the lines in and then I'll make ground bait and then as we catch fish we'll put the fake bream batch on. If you want to see the uh, ground bait that I tend to use at early levels for fake bream, I'm about to be making some stacks of it. Even though we don't have garlic dough, it seems to me that um, the pearl barley was doing okay. And we'll just put, oh, I don't know, Crucian Gibble mix on for now. Do we want the leader? No, I guess not. But it seems to me that uh, 18 clip the other day was actually doing pretty good. So we'll start with that. And we want to do basically the same setup here, except take that 3.2 off. And again, as soon as we get the ground bait made, we will um, rotate out what ground bait is on there. But hopefully, we will in the meantime catch a fish. That's the hope. We're getting a little, we're getting to this spot a little late, so I don't want to waste any time. And I think we want to go, I wish we had some of that, um, some of that fake, you know, I'll keep the 16 on, I think. And let's just go with sweet dough for now. And also 18 on this. I wish we had some of that, uh, what we were using for fake white bream mix, but I really had never tried it before. So it was kind of a test, but it really seemed to do pretty well, especially here on old Berg. So let's try uh, let's try that. See if we can catch some white bream. Did that? There we go. Okay. All right. So let me respond to him real quick, and then I'll make some some uh, ground bait. All right. So what we want is ground bait, ground bait, ready-made fake bream. And I guess it's not saved for whatever reason, but we're gonna do maggots and millet porridge and sunflower oil. So that way, when we pull it out of our inventory, it'll say fake bream. I'll remember just what it is and we'll have to guess or look at it. We'll just make, uh, let's make five successful batches of it for now and then we'll do some more later so it looks like I can make let's see all we have is crackers which is unfortunate but we do have bloodworm and maggots so I can make at least one thing of pretty close to that fake bream white bream mix and that one will be good oh shoot hate when that happens but if you notice the ground bait level we're at 10.5 I think it's 15% when we get our first uh, our first upgrade all right let's see what this is here on sweet dough goodness all right we don't really want it to pull itself off though chill out please you know it could just be a, a bream I really want to know what this fish is, but I'm really, I'm scared it's going to pop off. But I just want to know, like, what are we catching on sweet dough in the middle of the night like this? Especially if it's not 
uh, a bream, which it could be, but oh, can I lift it? How heavy is it? Maybe we'll get a look at it here. I'm going to force it because I think it'll pop off eventually anyway, or at least there's like a 50-50 chance. So let's see if we can't get this thing to surface long enough to tell what it is. Ah, it's pulling really hard. Uh, let's just let it sit for a second. Yeah, it's a pretty basic ground bait we have on, so uh, it could pretty much be anything. So this might be a reason to go to a little smaller hook with the sweet dough, at least in this spot. You know, if there's a chance of something this big getting on like this. It's not that strong though, like it's got runs in it, but it's not like it's real strong or super heavy fish. It's just this stupid 3.1 3 line and line strength. can't believe we're still using this freaking fishing part for us. It's weird, like, how do we not at least have... Did I not get, like... I'm kind of confused. Why are we still fishing with a fishing spark? Have we really not at least purchased another Lacerti? I guess we don't, we didn't, because our Lacerti was our strongest until we got that. Man, we really need to upgrade this this whole rig. I mean, this is this is uh, insult to old bird to try to fish here with a beginner setup like this. And just think about all the time we're wasting on this. Like, we may not have caught any bream, but there may be bream on the lines over there and we're just all we're doing is dorking around with whatever this is it's coming in now oh it got a little fight left in it I think it's just a little bream to be honest you know just like a marker bream Let's see what it is. It's not even that big. Oh, it's an eyed. We've had the most trouble with eyed in this uh, in this series, haven't we? All right. It's a decent little bream. All right, let's get this thing in and put the right ground bait on, right? Other than that, we're good to go. My hope is that we'll have enough silver to get either all the way or dang near close to um, garlic dough after we catch a catch some fish this episode we're gonna do that before we end the episode we're gonna make make some bait and see if we can't and I think we want to go ahead and honestly just go ahead and pull this in oh no you're kidding me oh it's just because the friction brake was a little low just get stuck on the bottom a little bit. All right, fake bream. All right, we've still got a little time. We could catch a bream or two. Bream or two more. All right, I guess what we're going to do on this guy is go to a... I hate to go all the way to 19, but I don't want to catch another eyed. What are we on? 16? Okay, we'll go to 19, sweet dough, and let's put the, um, is this the fake white bream? Yeah, it's got blood worms, maggots, caramel. That should be delightful. The white bream should go nuts for that. All right. Another marker bream, I think. Now we've got that fake bream mix that will... Uh, oh, that was an eyed, though. Eyed are getting active here, guys. The eyed are getting active. Do we throw in those... Uh, somewhere I took notes on... Who was it that was telling us about the the boilies they were using to go after eyed at Mosquito? I 
That's a decent bream. Heck yeah. That's what we're looking for, boys. Boys and girls. That is what we're looking for. All right, let's see what weekly Ides are going for right now. Oh, it'll be spinning, won't it? Oh, no, look at that. Wheat seeds, guys. Wheat seeds. Do we throw wheat seeds in real quick just for science to test? Oh, look at this. Mussels and fruit, 16. Somebody was trying to catch carp with that, though. That was not trying to catch Ide. I can almost guarantee you. They were as surprised as, as I am when that Ide came in. I don't know. Barely a marker. We're going to do it, guys. We're putting wheat seeds in just for a minute here. We're going to straight up put wheat seeds in. It's not like impossible for Bream to go after wheat seeds, too. This might not be ideal, but I don't think it's impossible. over two kilos just kidding boy that was optimistic of me I just thought the markings on there looked so distinct it looked like it had more than one kilo but that's just a one kilo this one was actually bigger All right, let's see if we're actually catching a white bream now. Sweet points. Have y'all been climbing trees without me? You see that?
Yes, sir. Those are the white bream we're after. 500 gram plus. We have nothing on wheat seeds by the time I get this next fish in. No nibble or anything. I'll probably switch it out. I just wanted to see if it was like how good of a spot it might be. Why the corn? I don't associate corn as an eyed bait. Is it now? We know peas are usually good at catching roach. But what will they do here in the middle of the, the bream spot? It's on the sweet dough again. I bet that's an eyed again. It 
totally feels like an eyed. I'm starting to get a hang of these eyed, what they, what, how they fight. They're kind of unique. Kind of got to be on top of them though. They're like, they really swim in spurts. I used to love good eyed fishing at Volkov. It's been a long time since I've seen a really nice eyed spot though. Look at that strength just out of nowhere. One kilo eyed. Coming in now. Oh. He's still got a little pull left on him. It's kind of amazing. That is an eye though, isn't it? I'm starting to like this. I'm starting to like this eyed fishing. I really am. Look how dead our um, our peas have been though. Ooh, nice white. I'm gonna put the I pop that back way too far. I'm gonna put the um, I'm gonna go ahead and set this one up for white bream or eyed as well. Okay, so fake bream is fine. Uh, eight is fine. And sweet dough. Because we've got a little more strength on this one. So if we catch a, uh, I don't know, three kilo eye, do we have a chance? Maybe. We shall see. Hoping we might get just a couple more bream here too on the pearl barley.
Definitely not an eyed. Definitely not. What is this? I guess it could be a white bream again, huh? On pearl. Nope, just a really small bream. I need to put it on 20 clip and then it'll pop back to 18. All right, so how have we done here overall? A short amount of time, pretty good because the eyed. Four marker eyed, no, 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 three marker eyed. And then decent bream. Does anybody ever fish this spot all day, like with different baits and stuff, or is it just not worth it? I don't think I've ever tried it. Could be a decent white or a tiny eyed or a crucian. Or a bream. Look at all these points we're getting in bottom fishing, though. That is encouraging. We're up to 40.9. We'll be slinging, slinging bait before you know it. No, we won't. But we'll be, we'll be using inline before you know it. Now that wouldn't be bad, like if you, if you just were kind of like catching common roach here. You know what we could go do though is fish for, um, at our little spot in front of the fort, we go fish for stuff during the day while we're making bait. Just throw like semolina and sweet dough in and just catch a bunch of mostly crucians and gibbles I would guess. we go look at that 11 a.m. another marker bream I like it
It's another eyed. Eyed are in this spot. Two people just got fish got away at the same time. Sometimes it feels like the server just kind of throws up and Rusty says, Hey, I know it might be annoying. But could you do a bit about Bear Lake? I'm having zero luck out there last week. I'm catching fish and left, but now not a single bite in an hour. I don't know if it's my luck or what baits I'm using, but it'd be helpful if you did a vid again at Bear Lake. Thanks for reading awesome video. Yeah, it just totally depends on what's hot at Bear Lake right now. Um, and I haven't fished there in a while, Rusty. Um, I can check the uh, Russian site and see if... Yeah, there is no current activity listed on the Russian site either. I would say Bear is a little cold right now, is my first impression. Bear can be great, but it can also be really slow. If you want to test bear, just put potatoes in. If it's a good spot, potatoes will get bites, even if it's small carp and stuff. But you'll know at least they're biting, and then you can try different baits as well. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It's a nice amount, too. Three over 2.6. Wow, I wish. I wish. Okay. So no cafe orders. Let's just go. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to look in the store. But let me go. Um, somebody was asking me what my favorite match rods are. Honestly, I haven't used many. But I do like match rod fishing. I was just getting in. I've just been getting into it a little bit on my main account. All right. So what are we putting in? What are we putting in on our big line here? We could do um, we could do our lucky blue with night crawlers, and uh, we'll go back to like seven, eight clips, something like that. And then we're gonna do small, um, smaller hooks on the other two, sixteen with semolina. And we're going to put the 3.2 back on there. We could get ourselves in trouble, but we're going to try it. And then the third line will have sweet dough. Uh, 16, though. And it also has... I think, I think I've got the wrong ground bait on that middle one. And it also has... Uh, Sixteen hook. This is Semolina, right? Yeah. Time to load up on some crucians and some roaches. Is that true? Does the color of the line still not matter in this game? I thought it did in some on some lakes. Maybe not though. I don't know. Alright, match rods. Oh, they've added so many now. The Model 1's pretty nice. Dang, they're expensive. I 
might have used this one too. I don't know. I really don't know. How are the lines doing? They're on the other side of that thing, aren't they? I can't tell. All right, what we're buying is basically enough to make, we've got four left, so we need six sugar, 10 milk, 10 semolina. 10 milk. And where is my semolina? Okay. Let's see where that takes us. Sweet dough is uh, it's got get, getting the bite on right now, isn't it? Dang! Did you see how far that line just went down? That was quick. Okay, um, let's wait and see what what happens with these bites, and then I'll. Start harvesting. That makes me really nervous when something is pulling that hard on a nibble. I don't know. All right, we're okay. We're okay, just a roach. Come on, points. Thirty four percent. Thirty four point one percent.
Well, unless we get really lucky, we're at least going to have to do 10 more, right? I mean, unless we just hit point after point after point here. What's this, our fourth one? 34.3. We did get point two that time. 34.5. Okay, we've got five more to make. Holy moly. I'm going to need for you to calm down, sir. You have to relax. Just calm down. No, 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 no. Just chill. There you go. Just chill. Just chill. You got it. Just chilling. Just chilling. Just be calm. Very nice. Very nice. Almost a trophy. That one had some girth to it. And that was on sweet dough. Ooh, another point in bottom fishing. All right, I'm a, I'm a believer in Paternoster now. I'm glad we switched to Paternoster. I like it. Okay, Simolina. We need point four. Six red worm, dang, that is awesome. Okay, this is a big one right here. Big one right here. We just got point two. That means of of the three remaining, if we get point two any of those times, we're we're there. We're golden. Oh, two chances to get point one points. Now the thing is, we'll get a spoiler as soon as we start to make it. We'll know if it's going to do it because we'll get that achievement for. Uh, hitting the next, opening up the next ones. Or I don't know if it's an achievement, but you know what I mean. The notification that you can now do. I think there is an achievement for every 10, isn't there? I don't know if that's what it is or not. It makes that noise and pops up. Come on, right here. Nope. We would have already heard the noise and seen it. All right, like. Oh, crap. We're out. I thought we had another one. Okay. Looks like we'll have to get it with the shovel. Right here. Shovel it. Is it another almost trophy? not as big as the last one because we don't even have energy you know it's close though we're getting some big boys and <laughs> night crawlers aren't doing crap over here they're just chilling they're just swimming around Been really impressed with sweet dough in this spot so far.
All right, the trusty shovel. Come on, come on. About to throw that shovel away. About to have a giveaway for my shovel. You think one will be enough? I do. I think we got this. Wheat flour, garlic, sunflower, cheese. Can it be any kind of cheese? Can it be melted cheese? I don't think so, but we're gonna double check. Think of how OP that would be if it could be melted cheese, it'd be so easy, so cheap. All right, what do we need for the garlic dough though? Wheat flour, garlic, sunflower oil. Wheat flour. Where the heck's my garlic? Are you freaking kidding me? Sorry for that ma massive overreaction, but are you kidding me? <laughs> what is up with that? That is not okay, by the way. Not okay, not okay. <sighs> I'd love to go for that Bream order, but freaking garlic, man. All right, 58 silver. Wait, how much was the garlic? <laughs> how much was the garlic? How many pe? Do we think we'll have to make 50 pieces of garlic dough? That would be like 900. Do we? Golly, we might. But that is a ton of garlic. Wow, I have a feeling it might be somewhere, at least in a little bit smaller amount than that. Okay, we'll have to try out the garlic dough next time at, at Oldberg. I don't think we're gonna do any more fishing in this video. So if you're still with me, you're just with me to travel around shopping for garlic. Um, Cheese cubes. Yeah, we don't have any cheese that works. Okay. Did I just lose audio or that is it just like way down? What happened? Okay, there we go. Uh garlic. Garlic? There we go. All right, we'll get 10 of them.
Did it fail? Freaking kidding me. Okay. Where is the cheese we need? It's not just at Cory, right? Why am I not remembering? <sighs> Y'all might have to remind me. Can we only get cheese from Cory? We have garlic dough now. Look at that. Okay, thanks for watching. Somebody let me know, is cheese only at Cory and other places above that? I'll see you next time.